Okay. Hey, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. Whenever it is that you're checking this out, here's a little help video for you for doing the Power Lab. Uh, come over here and share the screen with you here. And I think that needs to go away. All right. So here is what you're up to with the Power Video. I've even uh, got some stairs there in case you don't have any stairs to climb up. But hopefully you've got some stairs at your, uh, at your disposal. So this is the Power Lab and uh, power is kind of a cool little concept and it's useful especially as we get ready to talk about electrical circuits which is the next unit that we're gonna address. And it, and it ties sort of the land of energy over into the land of circuits. So it's a nice, uh, nice bridge for us. So uh, first off, estimate your mass in pounds. I'll leave that to you. Uh, do a little conversion of it uh, from pounds into kilograms. Measure the change in height of the stairwell. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this little video play here. And um, I'm not sure you can hear the audio because I'm on my headset. But this is, uh, this is silly Mr. Caldwell going up uh, 22 steps and each of the stairs, so it's 22 stairs. And those 22 stairs, each of the steps is 0.2 meters tall. So if I wanted to know the total change in height of the stairwell, I would do 22 times 0.2 meters. And so whatever that is, that would be my answer there. Now, if you have your own set of stairs that you're doing, you'd obviously have a different number of stairs and a different height perhaps for each stair. But I give you this in case you don't have a way to uh, measure anything. And then uh, you think about the potential energy do you have, at, how much potential energy you have at the top of the stairs. Well, we know the formula for potential energy is uh, mass times gravity times height. And so you should be able to, using this energy or this information, fill in the first part. All right. And then uh, you basically do, uh, do some exercise. And I don't care how many trials you do. If you do just one, it's, it's not the end of the world. But uh, so I, I walked up the stairs. So that was my slow walk. And uh, for those of you that are not going to actually collect your own data, it took me 14 seconds in the video. All right. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, speed along here. And so I go back down and then I tackle the stairs and I go up as fast as I can. And that's me hustling up the steps. And it took me four seconds. And here's a fun little thing. And that's how it's done. So I know how much my energy changed by uh, from the previous work up here. And if you think about these two questions, whether I walk up or whether I jog or run up, think about what the change in potential energy would be for those two states. Now here, the formula for work is actually a pretty easy one work is simply equal to the amount of energy divided by time. There's my divided by symbol, divided by time. So you're gonna know how much energy it took to climb those steps and you're gonna know how much time it took and the units for that. And I'll give a, a little bit of uh, more information on this uh, tomorrow but we've got basically joules per second, and that is what's known as a watt, which is abbreviated with a W. So you've probably heard of watts. Uh, you go and buy a light bulb. A 60 watt light bulb is gonna be using 60 joules of energy every second. And so uh, here are some questions, and you can go ahead and take a stab at those. I will... Uh, probably get a help video on those and actually use some class time tomorrow to walk through those. 
So uh, no worries if you're a little bit stuck on those, but that's your work for today. Um, hopefully it's not too much, but it, uh, easing you back in after a, a nice uh, break from everything. So hope that everybody is well. See you guys online soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.